This is the planet of Sand Rock. A mostly desert planet, with a primitive civilization called the Saranid Sultanate. If not for them, I would have starved to death without food or drinks. They even gave me a place to stay. I tried asking if they know who I am, or where I come from, and what this mobile suit is, but none of them know. Some think I came to this planet inside the mobile suit, or others who are religious think I've been sent here as some kind of divine gift by Allah. I'm not sure what they mean by this, but because of this mobile suit that I found out that is called the Wing Seerid, Gave the Saranid Sultanate technological advancements. They said because of this event they will be able to build their own mobile suits by studying the Wing Sierra in hopes of defending their homes and planet from the local bandits and other threats. I told them to scrap the computer, as I had a bad feeling about it, as if it had or will do something bad. So they did. I later scrapped the Wing Zero and used its parts to build a new mobile suit, the Gun of Sandrock. I have been using this new Gun of Sandrock to help defend and defeat the bandits threatening the towns and cities of the Saranid Sultanate. They have been most grateful for everything. I'm just happy I can help. I don't know what my name is, or who I am. On the fourth day that I was on this planet, I decided to give myself the name of Katstra. I wish to find the truth of my past. Who I was before. But maybe I didn't have a past. Maybe I was created like this. I don't know. Maybe I'll never learn the truth. Some theorize that I was born in the mobile suit. Or think I was created and sent in the mobile suit. On nights you can look up in the sky and see many flashing lights. Some say they're Malika, but I feel like it's something else. Something deadly, like as if there are people up there fighting. I don't know, as I and the people of this planet have never left this planet. Maybe one day I will be able to go to space, but I'm happy here. This is my home. Maybe one day I will find out who I am. But when that day comes, will I really go back to who I was? Or will I stay who I am now? Only the future holds my destiny. The only thing I can truly do is wait. This is truly great for all of us. The Earth Federation, along with all of its allies, have won the Jigdrasi War and defeated the Gara forces. Peace has finally been restored. I thank all of you so much for everything. Truly, I love you all. You are all my friends. Together we had overcome all this and restored peace to us all. A funeral will be held for all the loved ones we lost in this war and to remember my friend Heavy along with Rear Admiral Demonum a giant statue will be made of both of them. The Federation is now a beacon of hope for everyone as the Federation has become so much better than the Federation. And without Zachary Hudson the Alliance has rejoined the Federation. We are now so much bigger than before and we will make a better future for all of us. We would like to thank the heroes of help and the Jigdrasi War. Omar and Faulkner, sadly we lost Omar after the battle with him and the Wing Zero nowhere to be found. We will hold a special funeral for him and we'll miss him so much. But there is still a threat that still endangers our way of life. Seta, thanks to everyone's efforts we have removed the virus from the earth. Unfortunately we had to kill all those infected to stop it as unfortunately it is the only way. She's still out there and we must try and and stop her before any more damage can be done. With the planet of Gaminor it has fully become infected and we have set up a naval blockade to prevent anyone from entering or leaving the planet to stop the virus from spreading. We are still planning on what to do with Gaminor all of which will be a horrible outcome for the planet and our morality. Many Dryans have switched sides and have joined us against Seta. And God damn it for everyone who keeps fucking saying we should release Melissa and send her to to the planet to set everything on fire. We are not fucking doing that. God damn it, that would make everything so much fucking worse. This virus is nothing compared to how she ever got fucking in. Now we would all fucking die if serious. There would be no chance for us, we would all fucking die! I'm gone, I fucking repeat, don't fucking even look at her cell! No one is fucking allowed anywhere fucking near her fucking cell, do you all understand? I'm not fucking kidding! So no more fucking talking about Melissa, one more fucking word, and I fucking swear! But we must do everything in our part to find and stop it. Oh, we don't know where she is, but we will find her and ask her for her crimes. She will be stopped no matter what. Once Seto is stopped, then all those sins will be tied and peace will finally be fully restored to all of us and we will all live very happy and prosperous. Let's thank you all for listening to my speech. God damn it, Kai, for the last goddamn fucking time where you're not fucking letting Melissa out. Look, I just think she's the best way to get rid of that verse and prevent from spreading.
You just send her to that plane and have her set every fucking thing on fire. Yeah, and fucking doom us all as well. We are not fucking doing that. I agree, we just got done fucking fighting a deadly fucking war. The last thing that I want is another fucking problem to deal with. If she could cause the end of all that, we know that is the last fucking thing I want. You heard, Demo Man. I ain't fucking with that shit. The virus is bad and... And I don't want things being fucking made worse for us. Stop trying to get us all fucking killed, you fucking dipshit! Look, all I'm saying is if we safely transport her from her cell to the plane, that will in the verus. How did she can't get off of the plane and we have nothing to worry about? But what if something goes wrong during the transporting? What if she escapes her cell or transportation? What if she finds a way off of the goddamn planet? With her, any of these problems will fucking doom us all? Don't you fucking understand just how fucking dangerous she is? She will fuck our world up. I will take fucking Homelander of the cross over her. You're joking, right? Please tell me you're joking. Does it look like I'm joking? I'm dead fucking serious. If I ever see you looking at that cell, I will fucking slap your shit so hard you will fucking cease to exist. If she's so dangerous, why does the Federation keep her around? If she could cause a doomsday for us all. We keep her around as an absolute, and I mean fucking absolute last resort. Plus, we can't kill her. Why not? Because we can't get near her to fucking do anything. She sets everyone on fire, melts our fucking guns and bullets. I told them it was a fucking bad idea to fucking clone her from the original, but they wouldn't fucking listen. What do you mean clone? Oh, uh, fucking telling me that there is an originator and that this is only the clone. Yes, but the clone is even more powerful. You see some shit went down in 1997. The woman the woman who caused that shit was killed by some police officer. After all of it, they took some DNA samples, and many years later, thanks to the Federation scientists, were finally able to make a perfect and more powerful clone of that woman. I heard there was other clones made before then, but we are not sure about that. I fucking told them not to, but they didn't fucking listen. Now we have this absolute death we have to worry about. Bottom line, don't fucking go near Melissa. Don't even look at her fucking cell. What about just a little bit? Fucking no! You stay the fuck away from that cell, or I will fucking slap you so fucking hard your lifeless body will join you in hell. How do you know I'll be going to hell? Because I will be aiming south. All right, fine. I'll stay away from Melissa cell. Oh, shit. What's wrong? I just remembered all my bleach pusters were on that ship. Along with all the other bleach merchandise. Thanks, Charmelin, you little shit. You know, at this very moment, I could give even less of a shit. You don't even watch the fucking show. Some cockhead online just introduced it to you. And I'm not becoming a horny fuck slave over goddamn posters. I do too. And don't insult my friend Fiza69. He is a valuable friend and I don't like you talking shit about him. And you could have warned me. I could have saved all my bleach stuff. And risked you spreading the fucking virus. Fuck that! Look, we need to focus on stopping Seto. We have to keep searching for her. We would ask her boyfriend, Black Bomber, but he says she hasn't told him where she went. So we need to continue searching for her at once. Well, maybe if someone made Bleach Cannon, this would be so much easier. Oh, God damn it! I failed to see how that would make it easier. Well, maybe one of them has some kind of power to help us find her. You're just saying this because you want the Tits Cannon. No, I don't. Okay, maybe a little. Okay, that's the only reason. God damn it, Kai. I just hope this isn't one of those gateway bullshit where you like one thing and it just drags you on two other things. First it's Bleach, then Naruto, and God knows what fucking else. Look, I don't care what you watch, just leave me out of it and stop fucking asking for it to become fucking canon. Whatever, dude. But what about Armoro? Are you sure he's dead? Maybe he's out there somewhere and we just haven't found him yet. We have looked everywhere for so long and we haven't found anything. Unfortunately, just as everyone else, we fear he might be dead. I would like to believe the same that he is alive. Poor Amaro didn't deserve that. But I can't help but lose hope that we have lost him. Damn it. Look, Armoro wouldn't want us to be sad. He would want us to keep going on to make the universe a better place. And we can't do that with Seto out there. We have to find her and stop her. Right. Let's go. Black Bumba, did I not fucking tell you not to take any interest into any other girls? But I thought it would be all right. Why the fuck do you sound like trunks? All right, voice changer. Aw, oh, damn those things! You don't have to worry about that making your voice sound different. You know that I will love you no matter what! God damn it, stop trying to change the subject, you fucking idiot! Now, as I have fucking told you, I'm the only one who can have a polygamist relationships, right? Yes, but... Don't give me any of that shit! You knew and you still went against my wishes! You're right. It's my fault. I'm the one at fault here. I'm so sorry. Shut the fuck up. Sorry won't fix this goddamn shit that you fucking cause. You're lucky I'm dating your worthless ass. You may take interest into other girls, 
but they would never fucking ever find you attractive or fall in love with you. They would all find you fucking pathetic. Just like I do now. You always wanted a girlfriend. And when you finally found one, you treat me as badly as this. What the fuck is wrong with you? You absolute piece of shit. You are so fucking pathetic. Without me, you would be fucking dying alone, you worthless fucking idiot. Babe, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm so sorry. Don't give me that shit you weren't sorry when you were jerking off to that bitch. But I thought it was okay. No, it's not fucking okay. I fucking told you. No one else but me. Call why the fuck are you so fucking stupid? I bet you think she's better than me. No, I don't. Shut the fuck up. You know her is not even yours. What? Of course she is. No, she isn't. I was always using birth control when I fuck your worthless ass. I would never want your pathetic fucking seat inside me. I just felt sorry for your worthlessness that I said she was your daughter because you didn't have any children. Not that you deserve any anyways. Now I'm going to hang up and you better fucking think of what you have fucking done to me. And this better not happen again. Otherwise you will fucking pay you, you fucking understand me, you worthless pathetic piece of shit. Yes. Good. Goodbye.